King Zufo. Please do press the subscribe button and bell icon right next to it. Well, today we'll study the events in sexual reproduction. What are these events? After attainment of the sexual maturity, all the organisms which are capable of reproducing exhibit some complicated and elaborated events like uh, fusion of a male and female whereas the sexual reproduction is characterized by the fusion of a male and female gametes fertilization zygote and embryogenesis in order to study them in a simple way these events are characterized or categorized into three groups they are the pre fertilization fertilization and post fertilization now we'll go through the pre fertilization with the pre fertilization word itself suggests that whatever the events before the fertilization occurs so all the events before the fertilization occurring in the sexual reproducing organisms is called as the pre fertilization and in this stage there are mainly two events that is gametogenesis and gamete transfer now we'll go through the gametogenesis gametogenesis is nothing but the formation of a gametes one is male gamete and another one is female gamete so formation of gametes is called as the gametogenesis well in case of some algae and some fungi these male and female gametes are so similar that we cannot categorize them which one is male and which one is female hence we define them as the bisexual or we define them as the sorry not bisexual we define them as the isogametes or homogametes in the sense those two gametes look so similar that we easily can't differentiate whereas in some higher algae and fungi both the male and female gametes are distinct means we can find them which one is a male and female so we call them as the heterogametes whereas in case of the heterogametes the male gamete is called as the anthrozoid or sperm whereas the female gamete is called as the ovum or egg and coming to the sexuality in the organisms they we know that each and every organism have the capability of reproducing sexually in the sexual reproducing organisms well in some cases the plants or animals bearing both the sexual or both the reproductive structures in the same plant is called as the bisexual for example algae or you can take coconut plant our cucurbit plant in these cases both the male and female reproductive structures are present in a single plant so we call them as a bisexual or we can also use the word homothallic or monoecious where the both reproductive structures male and female are present in a single parent and in coming to the uh, coming to the unisexual plants like uh, you can take papaya plant and uh, date palm plant where a uh, male reproductive organ is present in another plant whereas female reproductive present is present in the another plant so unisexual organism or unisexual plant is also called as the heterothallic dioecious please do remember these words because these are very important well these cases also happens in case of the animals because in case of the animals like uh, leech tapeworm sponge earthworm they are bisexual because they possess both the reproductive structures in a one single parent body so those we can call them as a hermaphrodites but coming to bisexual sorry coming to unisexual where the reproductive structures are present in different parent body means the female reproductive structure is present in the female parent body and male reproductive structure is present in the male reproductive body for example for the unisexual animal is you can take cockroach human beings and many other animals this is how the sexuality in the organisms takes place well coming to next point that is cell division in the formation of gametes yes in the formation of gametes the cell division like mitotic and meiosis occurs how in case of the haploid organisms or haploid plants or haploid parents they do give the or they do produces the gametes by undergoing the mitotic division where they 
give their chromosomes whole set chromosomes in order to produce the male and female gamete for example we can take some lower organisms like some algae and some bryophytes whereas in case of the diploid plant they do have the 2 2n means they have a set of a chromosomes in which they do undergo the meiosis division or the um, or the reduction division in order to give or in order to produce the gametes they do share or they do transfer only a set of a chromosomes to the form in the formation of the gamete by the help of a specialized structures called meiocytes or gamete mother cells this is how the cell division occurs during the formation of a gametes and in the next video let me come up with a one more event that is gamete transfer and in the next video we'll discuss more about it if you like my video please give me thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel please like comment and share it thank you have a good day bye bye